Hey Owls, welcome to another episode of FAU Paradise News. I'm Ryan Canelli, and here is this week's news update. In FAU News, some Owls are coming together to boycott and remove Wendy's off campus. Here is Alexandra Reed with more details. You may have seen many of these posters all around campus boycotting Wendy's. What's the reason for this boycott? Wendy's is refusing to sign the Fair Foods Act, which provides better wages and work environments for tomato farmers all around Florida. All Wendy's has to do is sign on to the Fair Food um, Program, and it can help these farm workers tremendously, but they do not want to. So I think it's very bad for FAU to still allow them on our campus. The Fair Food Program provides workers education of their rights under a Fair Food Code of Conduct. This could help them be able to report abuse in dangerous practices before they could even occur. They also supply a 24-7 hotline to report abuse even in Spanish. I knew we had to start a petition because people in the house love their 444s and also don't really I would say due to privilege, um, couldn't really just understand the mistreatment that Wendy's has been doing to their farm workers. I don't know why I should be gone. I believe it's fair food for a good price. I mean, we're all struggling college students, right? You're just trying to get whatever food we can that's decent for a decent price. Wendy's has been protested against before in the past, but FAU Student Power and three other organizations have come together to attempt making the chain join the agreement to pay an extra penny per pound of tomatoes or shut their doors down on FAU campus. One should have compassion and everyone should be have the basic human rights of not having to worry about sexual assault, not having to worry about their pay being garnished. Like, I just think that that should be the number one thing that you look at compared to how much their food costs because we're all humans and everyone should be treated equal. So that's why I would, would sign on to the petition. To learn more information about the boycott or to sign a petition, you can go on boycottwindies.org. Signing off for our TV, I'm Alexandra and don't forget to keep it real. Not that you should commit a crime, but if you did, you should probably try to keep a low profile maybe not have your hair dyed bright pink. Doris Gutierrez of Boca Raton is facing charges of committing a robbery on West Camino Real in November. He was easily identified in a photo lineup because of his bright pink hair. Gutierrez is now being held on a $5,000 bond at Palm Beach County Jail after being arrested on February 6th. In national news, the Trump administration launched a campaign to end HIV AIDS in the United States by the year 2030. This program will target areas where the disease is most common. The goal is to get medication to the people in need. The people most at risk include men with the LGBTQ community and other minorities, such as African Americans and American Indians. And now, here is Mary Lou's with sports. Hi, I'm Mary Luce Cook, and here's what's going on this weekend in Owl Sports. The FAU softball team will open their season with the first pitch classic here in Paradise. The men's and women's basketball teams will both be playing the University of Texas at San Antonio. Our men's tennis team is kicking off their spring season at the FSU Spring Invitational. And the swimming and diving team will be at the FIU and FGCU Diving Invite in Miami. Back to you, Ryan. Thanks, Mary Liz. Make sure to tune in to the Blue Wave Sports Show for more FAU sports. In entertainment news, rapper 21 Savage was arrested this week by ICE. It was discovered that the Atlanta rapper was born in the United Kingdom and migrated to the U.S. as a teen. The entertainer was arrested for overstaying his visa. His attorney claimed that Savage had not attempted to hide his background, but that the Department of Homeland Security had been aware that he applied for a U.S. visa in 2017. And that's all the news we have for you this week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with all the latest news. Signing off for FAU Paradise News, I'm Ryan Kennelly. Thank you.